All right, so the Necromancer. Uh, it seems like there's probably value in using the uh, the Soothing Collar, the Ring of Fellowship, and then I still really like the Bottomless Gold Pouch, although I think that might be a bit of a crutch. And we'll take her into the Ancient Tomb. Oh, I don't like that it resets my relics there. I guess you, there probably are some puzzles you need to figure out with some of these that are a little tricky. Oh, hello. Cursing attack and cursed lose one health. Okay, so we have the reaping attack here. And oh, we do three damage with this thing, don't we? Probably should have kept that three damage. Hindsight is 2020. So cursed deals damage to you equal to the curse amount. Okay, so uh, remove curses from all faces on capturing die. Those faces gain cursing attacks equal to the amount of curses removed. Okay, so we failed again. Jeez. Oh, it died for some reason, or did we fail? I'm unsure, but this this class is a little weird. Uh, this seems this seems interesting. Oh, look at that one there. Aspect of alchemy: two blue, add one gold to target non. Oh. Oh, I like I like that a lot. Um. What is unholy? Sacrifice a captured enemy in target die. Gain gold equal to twice its attack. Oh. Okay, so let's do that. And then this makes this a huge attack. Oh, wait, and the skeleton didn't go away? Interesting. We're like, we're dying a lot here. Uh, we're still alive, but we could use some, some hearts, I think. Mind game could be very effective on this character, I feel like. Oh, now we have curse on this one too? Dang it. Tomb Guardians, gain one gold. Uh when you keep a cursed face or deal one piercing damage to a random enemy when you score hearts on this die. Hmm. Wait, why didn't why didn't that splash? Oh, it did. Okay. Uh we're we're in a little bit of trouble though. I think we might just die to rolling. Uh, okay, so we get you, and you have persists after 13 rerolls. Okay, so we're still alive, but we, we really need some sustain here. Okay, I'm gonna remove it. <laughs> okay, yep, that went uh, that went quickly. Uh, interesting. Let's uh, let's go back to the bandit raid with the necromancer. Oh, so we only get one for this. I think I'm gonna go with the class specific captured pet to start, but we need to learn the necromancer in a context that's a little more forgiving. I think. So capturing seems like it's really important over here. Snag a goblin. We'll take a damage, but I think it's a... Uh... I really want two attacks. Oh, reaping. Reaping is interesting.
Can't be captured, but that's okay. And then this haunt to get rid of him. Yikes. Come on now, game. Blood Gorger Ritual. Replace target die face with a fang attack and summon a blood gorger in its die. Replace this ability with offering. Okay, yeah, let's, let's grab that. That seems very interesting. So we have we have the kill. I don't think that's what we need. Oh, that was not great. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna hold off a second here. My word, the rolls are not coming up good for us here. Let's see. I like the look of this one. Uh, but we don't have long to get the gold for it. Oh, and we have the Blood Gorger Ritual. Replace a die face with a fang attack. Okay, wait. So let's... Let's do that. Okay. Oh, and now we can, we can replace our skeleton with the archer this way. And then I think we should... I thought we were supposed to gain one. Oh, we don't have the bag because we took the skeleton. Dang. That's going to be... It's going to be disappointing. This one is... This one is tricky. Okay, so offering. Increment the attack of your captured enemies by one. Captured zombies last 13 more. Okay. So reaping, does this, would this replace him with, it does. Okay, I don't like that very much. Taking a ton of damage here. I, I also haven't noticed a single heart show up. I wonder if that's coincidental or not. I would suspect the answer is not. Maybe, maybe we need to use this to kind of like accelerate our... Accelerate ourselves? Hmm. So okay, so offering I don't I don't understand the value of offering. I think we need the health though. Okay, it attacked itself, which is merciful. I think we need more gems. We have a ton of gems available. I'm not, I'm not fully, oh, Goblin Soldier adds attack. Okay, so using fangs has some type of multiplier effect here. Okay. Something might be happening here. But this is this is the end, so we need to hope something is happening here.
Oh, the Goblin arch Archer perished. Interesting. I suspect that's gonna that's gonna get him relatively easily. Yeah, that that does look like that that is gonna work that way. Right now, the Goblin Wizard feels more dangerous. Okay. Okay, so that was not that was not great. There's clearly some dynamics to the Necromancer that I don't fully understand. Necromancer can summon the undead and raise enemies. Uh, sacrifice captured enemy. That's the gain gold thing. Okay, I'm not. Hmm. Oh, I see. Okay, the reason that... Okay, so this shows us what characters we need to use on each one. Now I understand. Okay. So let's try the Vampire Nest as the Necromancer again. And for this one, we get two. So I'm going to take the bag. The bag of gold just seems really strong. That seems like just an upgrade. This Blood Gorger ritual wasn't as interesting as I thought it was. Let's try it again. I, I feel like I haven't given it a good a good go. Yikes. Uh, replace something with a fang. Okay. The initial dice on on her seem problematic. Oh, oh, it healed once. Hell, dang it! Okay, this this gets us there. What do we want here? The stun is nice. Now, if we have the Blood Gorger here, who seems rather strong, I don't think we want to replace it with something. I think we save our money, though. Soul Scatter. Kill target non-boss, non-chest enemy. Add its attack to each active enemy's attack. Oh, my word. Soul Scatter seems insane. So, okay, so we want to get rid of the reaps on this one because the we want the blood gorger to continue to be awesome for us. But we also have a problem, which is that. We need to, we need, so we need more fang tiles over here. I'm just eyeing that we only have two turns left, uh, unfortunately. 
Okay, that gets that gets us there. It does not get the kill on anything else. Um Yeah, nothing nothing we can do here. That chest is is dead to us. Plus three charges on Soul Scatter. I think it's really strong. Uh, I think we should just start using it. Because that, that didn't increase their attack. Um, kind of surprised me with that one. I thought that's how that was going to work. Um... We need a blue gem. We have the ability to get blue gems. For sure. Yeah, I thought these were going to do three each now. Steal you away, and then... Can at least do that. I really just want a blue gem. Oh, wait. Kill target non-boss, non-chest enemy. Add its attack to each active enemy's... To each active enemy's attack. Oh! I understand how that works now. Okay, got it. So we do it when we can line up a, a kill to get a, a crazy zombie over here. Okay, it's not as good as I thought it was. For sure. Getting a decent bankroll, but all this seems pretty trash. Oh, we can do this over here, I guess. This won't do anything, I don't think. Ah, shoot. So I should... Oh, it's the blue gems that I'm I'm lacking right now. Yeah, we failed on the lore chest too, unfortunately. Okay, so here's here's what I'm thinking. We kill this guy, which makes this guy much stronger. Which is a bit of a risk. But then we try and capture him. Okay. We may have made him invincible. <laughs> does Haunt do one damage? Okay, it does. There we go. So now so now we have this really strong guy down here. We didn't we didn't capture him, but he's gonna be doing significant work. And then we can get another fang over here on this die, because the fangs are going to hit like crazy hard. Yeah. Having, having the fangs hit for four over there is pretty strong. So I'm starting to get a feel for how this this is supposed to work, I guess. Let's just get rid of the bats. Sure, let's just AoE him down. The... The Splash Bloodlust is really strong. So he's going to heal for three each turn. Tw 
twice its attack. So we could also use Unholy Ritual to convert this guy into, like, insane gold for us. Oh, and something like this. Like, this becomes an insane die face. Oh yeah, it's it's all over. I want to I want to hit this double fang one though. Uh, I guess it isn't gonna be that great, anyways. Uh, it's still pretty impressive. Uh, okay, starting to understand the necromancer a little better. I don't think we five starred it though. Yeah, not quite. But starting to starting to get a feel for it. I really like it. Sun Monastery is unlocked. Legendary chests are unlocked. Legendary chests contain special die faces with unique abilities. Day and night cycle. Day and night. Uh, day changes to night and vice versa after five dice rolls. Oh, so that's got to be in the Sun Monastery. Okay. We didn't check out the ancient tomb either. Let's uh let's just do one that we haven't done yet. Like Ninja Sure, let's do Ninja Forgotten Island. And then Really like Adventures Kit and really like Bottomless Pouch. Okay, so I'm already seeing the, the combo upgrades. I like those a lot. I guess we're keeping this one. Ninja deck is, uh, I think I'm just rolling poorly on it, but kind of want this thing, though. Yeah, let's do that. Precision training. Gain all resources on target face, then erase it and make it unrollable. Uh, add one chain to target non-trap. Oh yeah. Aspect of ninjutsu seems wicked cool. We have very few d defends, so fishing for them is probably not advised. We have we have some healing, so I think let's get the money and run and then This is such a minor upgrade. I don't think capturing is what we're looking for here. This this basic sword just makes that one so hard to buy. Yikes, I think we got a smoke bomb there. We were gonna we were only taking four, I guess, so it's not that terrible. But well it was slightly more because the roaming plus one attack. Oh, that's not good. This this is what I'm eyeing right now, and Do that. Okay. I guess the fact that we didn't get a defend is very, uh, very bad for business. So what do we do? Oh, I think we want to chain that one. Oh, not good. 
Not good. I can certainly see the value of adding combo. That's pretty sick. Uh, we have a decent bankroll right now. We have a cursed sword on offer over here. We really just need some we need some defense though. We're about to take a big hit though. I don't think there's anything we can do about it. That thing's gonna be a problem, I think. Ooh, look at that. That seems good. Yeah. I like I like this one. And then I think we'll use the other aspect of ninjutsu there. Ah nice. The fact that we haven't backstab, deal one damage target enemy. If that enemy is stunned, deal three piercing damage instead. It is no longer stunned. Ooh, that seems good. Okay, I think we kill the T-Rex. And we kill that. Still taking damage, for sure. Uh, okay, we have the kill if we want it. But we can add two... Oh, we can add a defend and get linked hearts. We, we need some healing. So let's make this even more insane. I think that's huge. Yeah, our gold situation is getting really awesome at the moment. I think I'm going to grab this, too. So we'll keep this just to get even more gold going. Let's put that there. These dice faces are getting uh, noteworthy. And then this one is really good, too. And we'll, we'll line these two up to be replaced, but... We'd end up getting four healing. I don't think that's worth it. Okay, this looks like it's probably worth it. So we can use we can use a backstab to kill the turtle because the turtle is is uh, stunned. And then we could mess with these guys with shurikens, but I don't think that's that useful. Ooh, right off the bat. Oh my gosh, look at that one. That 12 gold one looks really nice. Uh, I was hoping for a chest there, for sure. Um... The multiplier could also be really interesting. And the fang with the added defend, I think, could also be really good. Oh, this one has uh, this one has a lot of stuff on it too, doesn't it? Okay. The splash damage is huge here, uh, although no defends. That felt very ninja-like. <laughs> uh, I think we'll be okay on the final fight here. So we can we can stun you. This is not a great roll, though. Again. 
again. I, I stunned the two of them, so I think... Oh, so the, the backstab removes stun. That's something I should be aware of, I guess. Stun is great. The gems that we're generating also are completely insane. Six turns left. We get three healing off of this, nothing else. That's not that important, I don't think. Oh. Some good stuff down here. Okay, we have two block. There we go. Looks like we didn't make it again on the five star. It seems like you really have to go for streak for the five star. New class unlocked, the time bender. Uh, die power unlocked temporal gold. Die faces can now have temporal gold. It is cheaper than real gold, but disappears at the end of turn. Hmm. Reroll activation. Die faces can now have reroll activation. Score reroll faces when rerolling or keep them. Hmm. Frozen horror is unlocked. All right. Interesting. Well, that's going to do it for today.